What is going on everybody? Simply 10 here and I actually have a little bit different of a video for you guys today. This is actually like my first video that isn't about the top 10 sets or the things that you should know or 10 predictions or something like that. It is about 10 and Lego but this one actually has to do with the 10 reasons why it's so expensive. One of the first things that Lego fans always react with when they see brand new sets is the fact that they're overpriced. So the Razor Crest of last year or the Armored Assault Tank of last year could be considered overpriced because they are a little bit higher, they don't give you as many figures as you know maybe people would expect. Another good example of this is actually from the brand new Ninjago Wave. This Overlord Dragon set costs $30, but it only comes with two figures and then like a small dragon build. And yet another example of this is in the most recent LEGO City Wave. Many people accuse every single one of those sets of being an overpriced monstrosity. So like I just mentioned, here are the 10 reasons why all those sets are so expensive. Just one thing that I would like to mention before we jump in here is the fact that I am a channel here on YouTube, which means that I make content like this pretty often. And most of the time it does have to do with this 10 part method. So if you enjoy this 10 part method, really consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you don't miss out on my next great video. And there are actually prizes if you guys can get me to 1000 subscribers. But with that out of the way, we can now move on to the real content, which has to do all about why Lego is so stinking expensive. I myself will admit that Legos are pretty expensive, so if you know you want to get into this Lego hobby, if you've already been in it for a while, you already know that it definitely does take a toll on your wallet. And well, people who are really into collecting Legos get really bothered by this because it's the thing that they enjoy and they have to spend so much money to continue to enjoy it. And well, the number one reason for why they are so expensive is the fact that they are like the first of their kind. Lego definitely was one of the first companies to create these interlocking bricks, so that definitely does give them a step up in the market. Sort of like how Apple created the first smartphone, so they have like a larger fan base, a larger like ability to charge more for their products. With, you know, not having to do too much like advertising because there's just already so many people invested in their company. Lego's sort of the same deal where they just have kind of built up this company over time. And when you have such a big company, you can do so many things with it. And especially because you're the first of your kind, you're not like competing with anyone else really. Because Lego was the first one to come out, they've really monopolized on this market. And while that technically doesn't give them the right to overprice things, they still do because that's just how business works. Number two is because some of their themes have deals with other companies. Lego Star Wars, for instance, I'm guessing, like, give some of the revenue from those sets to Disney, so that I'm guessing they charge more, that way they can still make the same amount of money off of those Lego Star Wars sets. So because of this deal with another company, sure, they could, like, keep the sets the same price, but then Lego is making less money off of their Star Wars theme out of all the other ones. And Lego Star Wars is their most popular slash successful theme, so there's no way that they'd ever, like, lower the price of Lego Star Wars sets when they already do so well. Because, I mean, their department makes just as much money as the other departments, I'm guessing, so why would they, like, give them less money for making more successful LEGO sets? Same goes for any other deal with other companies. Like, I'm sure Minecraft has some sort of thing involved that makes their sets more expensive. And I'm sure that Marvel and DC superheroes do as well. Another reason why LEGO might be so expensive is due to all of their physical stores. When you have a physical store, I mean, obviously, you know, you have employees, but you make money off of the sets that you sell there enough to, like, cover the employee cost. But one thing that companies do struggle with sometimes is making enough money off of the sets they sell there to pay for the actual real estate of that location. Real estate costs a lot of money, so when you make a physical store, that just automatically ups the price of your company because you just have to pay for so much more expenses. And LEGO has so many physical stores these days, including like Legoland in multiple locations. So all of that real estate has to be paid for by something, and well, the only thing they sell is LEGO, so LEGOs are therefore more expensive in order to compensate for their real estate. A fourth reason for LEGO being so expensive is because of all the custom prints that they put into their LEGO sets. Almost every single LEGO minifigure has a custom print on their torso because, well, there's just so many different figures they can make out there. So when you custom print on a torso, that means that you have to pay even more money to have like another type of LEGO torso created. Or if you print on a LEGO piece, the same thing goes for that as well. So if there's a lot of printed pieces in a LEGO set, that automatically makes it more expensive because LEGO has to pay that much more money to create it. Which is why recently they have turned towards more sticker pads in their sets because it does make the sets cheaper to make. And I'm guessing that they sell them for cheaper. Like obviously they could be selling them for the same price still. But I think that because LEGO is putting stickers in, I have a feeling that it, they are a little bit cheaper than they used to be. But I mean, if you're one of those people who's mad about stickers and sets being overpriced, then you can't have the best of both worlds. You have to give up one for the other. And I'm guessing that if they put more custom printed pieces into sets, then they'd be that much more expensive. My fifth reason for LEGOs being more expensive is custom molds. And yes, this does fall under a similar category of custom printing, but it is a different idea because custom molds are just a whole different story. Rather than just having to print something different onto a piece, you have to make a completely new piece. And not only that, they don't just make one of each set, they have to mass produce a brand new piece for a brand new set that they may never use again, so it's a big investment whenever they make a brand new piece. Because they never know how it's going to turn out or even if like that theme that they make it for will succeed. 
So the price sets with custom molds higher because they eventually like pay more for it in the long run because they don't often use that custom molded piece like very often in the future. A good example of these custom molds and the making sets more expensive is actually like the new Lego City sets with all those road plates. Like those are very custom molded sets and even custom printed sets. Like everything about that is very special and very unique and they're making a gamble on these road plates so they made these sets a little bit more expensive in order to compensate for the possible loss. For number six, they do have a huge fan base. And when you have a huge fan base, you can basically do whatever you want because it's very hard to like alienate every single one of your fans out there. So you can price sets higher and while some people will be mad, plenty of other people will be just fine and they'll still buy your like overpriced Lego set. But they also can't price sets too high because if they did that, then the fan base would react very harshly. So the fan base kind of keeps them in check. Like they can price things a little bit higher, but they can't go too high. So you know, fan base is a good thing and a bad thing for a company. At number seven, I actually realized that you might be thinking a little bit differently about this whole expensive Lego thing, and maybe you were just recently looking for a set on Amazon. And if you didn't know about this, when Amazon goes out of stock, they then turn to their third-party sellers, which usually sell sets for more than they are worth. For instance, the Razor Crest is sold for $130 normally, but on Amazon right now it's $170 because they don't have any in stock. So that could be your problem. So if you've just been buying things from Amazon and you think you're paying like a lot of money for some of these sets, that could be the reason why. And at number eight, Lego is a premium product. Like when you look at all those like off-brand knockoffs around the stores, you can definitely see the difference between Lego and these weird little things that they sell. Like for instance, when you look at like those Ryan's Toy World things, I mean like the plastic is all weird and like the characters are all weird. Like everything about like those weird off-brand things are just weird and they're not as good. They're not nearly as good as a premium Lego product. It's not like computer, phone, or Wi-Fi companies. Lego definitely does have much better quality products compared to anyone else out there on the same market. So when you want the best of the best products, you have to pay that price for them. Lego isn't gonna make things cheaper just to make more people happy because they have people to pay to make those people happy. And they have themselves to pay and they really deserve a lot of that money because they do make a really fun, a really nice, and a really premium product. And at number nine, sometimes they just know the demand. Like they know to price more popular things higher because they know that they can sell it at that higher price point. For instance, the Armored Assault Tank or the Razor Crest in Lego Star Wars that people like accuse of being overpriced, both came with highly coveted things. The Armored Assault Tank came with like, as of right now, the only modernized version of the Lego Ahsoka Tano figure, while the Razor Crest literally came with a Razor Crest along with that very exclusive child figure that, you know, it used to be the only way you could get it. Obviously now you can get that child figure in a $30 set, so I mean, you don't have to get the Razor Crest for that figure anymore, but still, when those sets came out, everything in them was very rare, which made those sets even more valuable, and Lego knew that. Not everything is about price, piece, or size. Sometimes it's just about what's inside because what's inside is what matters most. And sometimes what's inside is just highly coveted in the Lego fan base. And at number 10, sometimes they are just straight up overpriced. Things like the Grievous Starfighter for $80 is a little crazy for the amount of things you get in it. Like you literally got three figures, a very small build, and that set costs $80. Things like that just aren't okay, but I mean every company has things like that where they just overprice things because that's just what they do. Like they just test the market and they see what happens. And hopefully not too many people bought that Grievous set because, you know, hopefully that doesn't keep happening in the future. But either way, that's just what LEGO does because they're a company and they deliver the products that we like and obviously they haven't pushed us away yet. So what they're doing definitely isn't like completely wrong. But you know, in the end, LEGO is just a very nice premium product that comes with a lot of cool things and they have deals with really cool companies. They have really nice molds, really nice printing. Everything about them is just very nice. LEGO is just a very nice product and a very premium company and you have to pay the price for that kind of product. And well, you know, every once in a while things really are extremely overpriced, but that's just how this crazy world of ours works. But anyways, that is all that I have to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like or even a comment in the section down below, letting me know what I did well or what I should change in the next one, or even just like letting me know like how much you agree with my opinion or how much this changed or molded your opinion or how much it just didn't change your mind on Lego at all. But if you really, really, really enjoyed this video, be sure to really consider subscribing, like I said earlier, because I make content like this pretty often. So if you enjoyed this video, I know that you'll enjoy all of my other content. And don't forget about those prizes if you guys can get me to a thousand subscribers. But you know, it's okay if this didn't earn your subscription. In the end, what I'm really hoping for is to see you in the next one.